Hey guys, Brenny here, and welcome back to another hardcore Minecraft episode. We are at our Enderman farm that I've done a few little tweaks on. You'll also see I'm level 84. It is a machine, like, look at it. Look at this, a non-stop flow of Enderman rolling in. I have broken the floor here just because they were building up and it was annoying me, and I've got a high enough level to bust out some enchantments, but I just figured I'd show you guys this area. Um, let's pop up to the top up here. So, I raised this roof to match up with this roof, because this roofing here was actually on the lower side of the half slab. That was probably the most dangerous thing I've done in this whole hardcore. I, um, I, every now and then an enderman would get mad. Usually I'd hit them before they even hit me. But I had this one point where one hit me near the edge, and then another came at me and hit me backwards. And if I went any other way, wait, probably two out of the four other ways I could have gone, I probably would have, you know, died. And was very intimidating, got my heart pumping a lot, so from then on this was taken a lot slower and a lot longer, but we have all the water placed, we have all the excess uh, flooring that we used to have around here taken away, got a wall behind the back just so that they're nicely held in there. I found that if there was no side walls here, their heads could sometimes glitch into this block, meaning that they weren't like in the area we wanted them to. But for design I was thinking of having the enchanting table here and a like little pathway around the outside that's too wide. Maybe around that pathway would be storage. I don't want anything too crazy. I definitely want pistons to retract and uh, extract these uh, slabs here just so that I can turn it off and on because if they do build up they get very very annoying. And yeah, let's pop out of here. And yeah, I <laughs> let's so this episode I wanted to do some enchanting uh, definitely of a ton of tools, maybe some new armor, and then I wanted to possibly go back to our factory and possibly do a bit of work on here, but you'll see the pathway goes all the way down here. It's quite a presentable little pathway, nothing nothing amazing, but it's not a one by one pathway. Uh, with the pathway, I also would like to make this look cool. What I wanted to do was have the pathway like a bridge and the little support beams coming off the bridge. If I had webcam right now, you guys would be loving my drawing in the air. Anyway, those little support beams would go into little end islands, and I thought that would be pretty cool. And because we are at height 20, we do have the potential to do a basic version of that. You'll see that there's water in there. That's just because I kept having one enderman spawn in there, which slightly decreased our spawn rates. And because this is such an, an amazing, perfect spawner, I, I noticed that, you know, well, I didn't notice it, I just figured, you know what, might as well really finish it off and make it go out with a bang. Now, because this was so easy to design, I have debated actually pulling apart all of our end and having build the spawner, which I don't know if would work at this height, but above the portal here, or at least near it, and then break everything else away and see how that works. The only issue is it's it would be a huge job, but it would be something no one's done before, I don't believe. I don't think anyone's done it before. But let's go do some enchanting. Uh, I was going to enchant over there and like put our enchanting table down, because as you guys know, I bought one with me, but I don't actually have a source of sugarcane. I only had about 38 sugarcane, so you'll see over there I have planted some uh, right where I'm gonna build an iron golem farm But after watching uh, Vicstar play how to Minecraft, uh, which is the server he plays on uh, He used a smaller iron golem design that I've seen a few people use but I've been Reluctant to use because I've heard that it can not work sometimes But his seems to be working fine and maybe I'll do a bit more research into it because it's slightly small, not slightly, I'd say it's one third smaller, so, you know, that's actually a fair bit. Let's go get some lapis, though, and some diamonds. We need diamonds for our gear to enchant. So, uh, put one block away, and then we will, we don't need more than a stack of diamonds, do we? How many? Four times, there we go. Alright, that should be enough. 46, no, alright, I'm going all out, I... Actually, I calculated it. I have about 16 enchantments here, so, you know, I don't want to go and overdo it, even though I think I already have. Alright, let's go and get out this lapis. I do need more lapis, but the fact that is, we're gonna have a ton of pickaxes now. Plus, I just realized there may actually be stuff- Ah, oh, <laughs> There is so much stuff in this chest! Oh my god. I, I was like, alright, we'll just chuck our stuff in there, do the enchanting. 
Alright, so let's take out all of this, I suppose, and put it in our correct chest. Totally forgot about that. I'm happy, though, because as you can see, our armor is breaking, so to have some more options is actually very nice. But let's go throw these all in the correct categories. Um, that tool can go there. We'll have another pickaxe on us. That's an efficiency 5, fortune 3. That is an efficiency 4, fortune 3, fortune 3. I think if I added those two together... I, it would be quite low. 30? No. <laughs> what about that way? 21. Fortune 3. Efficiency 5. I'm kind of wasting a Fortune 3 here though, aren't I? Because what I could do is add that a 4. What about that? So that's only level 14. What if I just repaired it with diamonds? That's 11. Which is alright. Uh, what about a non-enchanted diamond pickaxe? I don't actually know how all like the enchanting scales and all that, so it's actually quite interesting to learn it right now, which I really haven't learnt it, but we're gonna try. So before it costs four diamonds to fully fix it, uh, don't know why I'm opening that, so I'll show you guys. Uh, one, two, three, and four. But if we add this pickaxe here, it's level nine, and that fully fixes it. And that's level 11. Raw profit, guys. God, just, we're so amazing. You guys are amazing. We're amazing. We're an amazing team. All right, there we go. We have Fortune 5 Efficiency. Uh, I do like to have a Silk Touch pickaxe on me usually, but whatever. Uh, let's go and plop back down to our storage because our inventory is set out roughly how I want it to. Like, this shovel's nothing amazing, but we'll go and do some more enchanting soon. Uh, tools can go up here. Wonderful. Armor can go over... My armor's not in a very good spot. I don't like how there's, like, shitty tools in the way of my armor. My armor should have a higher priority than that. But that will do. Uh, Alright, there we go. So we've cleaned out our inventory and that chest up there. And now what we're going to do is craft a ton of items uh, for this chest. And then we're going to enchant all of those items. Which, actually, let's go five pickaxes, I think. Five pickaxes. Three shovels maybe yeah that that seems all right that's four shovels maybe three shovels like so and then we will go three axes or should i go two axes and yeah, i'm not really interested in doing any swords because our swords lasted a while but i would like to do some helmets and some booties so how many items is that to enchant four eight twelve plus the one is 13 i wish i could math better um, might do some more booties. I feel like my booties are very important. Um, and a chest plate and one leggings. That, that, that is what will enchant and that appears to be 16 items, which if my calculations were correct, which they probably aren't now that I've used a few of my levels on adding those two pickaxes together, but we should be able to get all of these enchanted. So what I'm going to do is plop them all in here in a specific order. What order will that be though? Alright, we'll put armor down here, like so, and that's our layout. Okay guys, so I had to go outside and actually kill some mobs to get to the last level 30 to do our last enchantment. Um, at some points I debated, like, I only enchanted one wooden tool throughout that, like a wooden sword, just to get rid of a dodgy enchantment. The rest have just been done because, you know, I'd rather just build up a bunch of enchantments and add them all together. See, like Silk Touch. That actually, I wouldn't mind one Silk Touch uh, shovel just because bringing dirt along is actually quite nice. I could use it. Oh, you guys always tell me to get Efficiency 5 and un Silk Touch and Unbreaking on a pair of shears. I'm not sure if you can get all of them. I know you guys tell me to get... Uh, what is it? Silk touch because you can break glass with it and it breaks the same speed or something because with your hand but you keep it. I can't remember what the thing was but let's see what we got. So we got efficiency uh, 4 and breaking 3, fortune 3, efficiency 4, silk touch uh, which I wouldn't mind have a, having on me right now. So uh, yeah let's just bring that one on us because as you guys know I like to have them on me. Uh, efficiency 4 and unbreaking. Might add those two together to get an efficiency 5, unbreaking silk touch, and then there's a fortune. The only issue is, like, like, look at, what's this one? We can add these two together and actually profit, you know? Whereas if we, oh, actually, hmm. Yes, yeah, so I could have added these two together as well. I like adding our single enchantments to efficiency 4 unbreakings, like so. 
uh, and I don't mind doing it. But with the efficiency for Silk Touch, I would ideally like to have it nearly broken before we do that, or the other way around with the pickaxe, so that we're repairing as well as, um, it, like, making the pickaxe better. So I think I'll do it like this. And let's see what other way goes. Level 10, wonderful. So efficiency, fortune, wonderful. All right, let's go get all of these out because we have done... Actually, I don't think I went through them all. So we got a silk touch, an efficiency, an efficiency. Protection 4, unbreaking 3, aqua affinity. Great helmet. I might actually chuck that on because I am in need of a helmet. There we go. Uh, fire protection, unbreaking, protection 3, feather falling 4, and protection 4. Might add those boots together as well. Uh, what boots are we currently wearing? Uh, see, we're wearing nice boots. It's honestly worth repairing boots. And, oh, that's another thing we do need at our Enderman farm. I might actually, yeah, that's what I'm going to do this episode, is pimp out our Enderman farm to a point where it's actually, like, epic, you know? Because we need, we need a good Enderman farm, so it needs the retractable pistons. It needs, uh, a bunch of anvils. Some storage, nothing amazing with storage. I don't actually plan on hoarding the ender pearls just yet. Maybe in the future I will, but right now I don't really care for it. What, what has this got on it? See, that's efficiency three. That's what pisses me off, is it's not a very good pickaxe right there. There we go, shovels there. Oh, look at that, guys. We're stocking back up. What we should do is this, though. Is we should have two lines of axes, two lines of shovel. Actually, no, because I want... I won't have too many axes. I think I'll stack up shovels because they can break pretty quickly. And then I'll have three lines of pickaxes. That seems like the uh, best way to go. Because, look, you can see the shovels, uh, the axes are stacking up now. And I haven't even used them. So, you know. And then we'll throw that in here. Um, don't know why there's a sword in there. That sword should go over here. I'm sure you guys noticed that as soon as I did it. Take that out. What else? Do we have anything unenchanted? I'm going to keep my unenchanted stuff. Oh, oh no! Guys, check this shit. Boom! <laughs> More stuff that I have forgotten about enchanting. Let's put this all in here because I once I go and make my bookshelves, I will take them uh, to the end and then we'll do as much enchanting as I can. Uh, upstairs is where I have my lapis, so we'll have to bring at least half of that with us. Where do I... yeah, flowers go in here. Can't wait to make a coin system. I think maybe we could use that with the Godzilla transforming platform. Maybe we could have that like a mini game that takes flowers as coins. As you guys know, that's a fair bit on my mind recently. All right, so actually, screw taking the wood. We'll leave that there. And we'll just throw this on the ground because I have no need for it. And there we go. All right, so game plan is to wait for some sugarcane to grow. I'll actually expand the farm now that we have some more freaking tools for once. Uh, and then I'll wait for the farm to fully grow out and you know, I want to just have a stack of sugarcane because Who knows when I might want to make more bookshelves, you know, and the last thing I want is to have to wait for them to grow again I don't actually know if these grow in the loaded chunks by themselves because honestly, I haven't uh, I've only Planted them quite recently, so you know, I can't really tell but it doesn't look like they do so you know We'll have to see in the future. Maybe I'll do some proper testing I'm sure a lot of you guys will leave comments regarding the subject and I'm going to get farming I have grown all the sugar canes our farm is a Significant amount bigger and we should have enough here to make the uh, bookshelves while I was waiting for most of it to grow I was actually farming trees and I got uh, I started running out of saplings because if you do this method and you just keep bone mealing it, the rate of saplings dropping is actually slower than the rate that you're just chopping down the trees, especially with decent uh, axes, so suppose I'll have to take a bit of a loss there. Let's go and make a another stack of planks, and that should be enough when we make the paper, because uh, we need to make... How many bo Wait, wait, I'm so... Ah, oh, alright, I'm forgetting leather, that's why. I was like, what? I know I'm forgetting something. Alright, so I suppose we'll take all of this. Uh, the rest can stay here because I'm sure at some other point I'll want to do this farm. And I'll have supplies to farm trees. At least seven more because I started off with about 40 saplings. But, you know. And, and I also put a bed there because as soon as it came to night time I either had to run to this house. Or there's a bed at our iron golem farm. Which I recently did clear out. Um, don't think I actually showed that though in... Uh, the other day's video of my, my hardcore episode 40, that one, yeah. 
I don't think I actually showed that. So let's go and get out a ton of leather because we... Oh, actually, hmm. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Let's make a fair amount of bookshelves. Not that I feel like they're needed. Oh my god, no way, no. Oh, all right, whatever. Let's go and get that. I thought we would have had three stacks. I don't know why I just didn't grab, like, a little bit more supplies. There we go. Books and more books, which means we have about 40 books, I believe, which I think actually isn't enough. If we do that, 21. Oh, no, no, I was wrong. We, yeah, there we go. So we have 17 bookshelves there. Uh, I definitely will make some more. Let's go and do this. And that, and then we do that, and that's 23 bookshelves. Uh, which I actually have 24 if I go and grab, I have some extra books in there. Oh, and that's really for ch enchanting. Alright, we'll put them there, and then we'll put all of this in here. Uh, we will keep one stack on us, and there we go, so there's that done. Uh, I'll put the paper in there, and the sugar canes. I do have a sugar cane area, don't I? Or is that... Oh, wow, does that really just come under farmed? Wow, I'm really lacking in my farming categories. Thought I'd have way better than that. Surprised you guys didn't actually comment on that. Like, farms do build up, and I only have two little categories for it. Alright, so... Other things we need are some anvils and sticky pistons. I don't think I actually, yeah, I think all of our sticky pistons are at our other projects, so we might have to, oh, can't wait to smelt this. All right, let's get it smelting. We're probably gonna actually have to wait, make more sticky pistons, but my only issue with that is, um, oh, wow, did not even, how do I not know I have this? Oh, no, that was from when I went on that adventure to find something and I just kept slaying everything I could see. Alright, so let's put that in there, let's get out that, and we'll put them there. Alright, so we need sticky pistons, which would mean we need slime balls, which means that's what we don't have. Actually, that will give us nine, I believe. Yeah, and that nine is actually all we need. Alright, so we have sticky pistons on the way. Uh, what else do we need? We need anvils, redstone, uh, let's get out just a stack of redstone will do. A lever is all we're going to really need as well to... And that's all really to retract the floor and bring it back, so we'll bring some cobblestone. Actually, I don't have any cobblestone in here. I've taken all my supplies to other areas. I have so many more supply chests than I thought I did, just like scattered around the map. Alright, let's, uh, oh, I should do some more enchanting. I'll enchant these two at the end of this episode. But yeah, I'm going to go and make some anvils, which I definitely have the supplies for. We'll make... Should I just make one or three? I'm thinking where I'll put it is it uh, above the, uh, the, what's it called? Uh, what are they called? Why am I blanking out on this? Above the bookshelves for the enchanting area, where I usually put it. I put make that U-shape. I think there actually may be one. No, no, it's a chest that's upstairs. Where that chest is is where I would like to have it. But then again, I may actually want a chest there. We do have a ton of wood on us, which is good, because I maybe I would like to use that wood for um, making more chests to do some storage, because I don't think I want to store too much from the, uh, the uh, like, enderpearls and enchantments and stuff. I really wanted to have it in our main storage area, but I would like to have the option, you know? So maybe I'll have, like, eight chests laying about. Okay guys, so I got out here and I was talking crap with you guys while I worked on this project. We placed our enchantment table as well as our uh, anvil and I realized my redstone is actually going to have endermen spawn on it. So we need to make a method of not having that happen. So what we're gonna do is bust out that wall and we're gonna put our pistons here like they should have gone. Obviously that's where they belong. And then above that we're gonna have to place blocks to put water on top of uh, to fix that. And that should fix the issue, so that's good. We've got some quick and easy redstone in here. Uh, we do have level 30 of our enchantment table in here, which is also very nice. Let's go and put them there like so. And then on top of that we put these, and that looks presentable. And then uh, I think what we're gonna do is make our redstone... Ah, oh, there we go, we'll take that. We'll make our pathway here out of uh, stone brick, just because it's prettier, and I might as well do it. And then we're going to actually have to put blocks above this and make that, uh, what's it called? Um, wa with water above it, so endermen don't spawn there. I was thinking of using half slabs so they just don't spawn there, but the other issue is we don't want them to run there either. Alright, let's do that. Go back this way and do that. This is also just a prettier block to be using. I'm going to fill in there because I'll most likely... Yeah, I'm going to have to have basically 
water coming from here to run this how I want it to. So let's go and run the redstone now. Now, as default, doesn't really matter what position we have the redstone in, because I, at some point, will want it off and on. Um, we want the redstone to come from there, though. I just want the uh, button to be in a nicer location. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is the pathway now. So the pathway is going to be too high, uh, too wide around the outside here, which means the wall here is actually going to have to come out. Then again, it doesn't have to. Hmm. I don't really need to bring the wall out, at least just yet. Then it... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, there's blocks above me. And I want to go around here. So, all right, I am going to have to bring the wall out uh, to here, at least. And that will go there. That will allow us to go around here and then go down our pathway. Same thing is going to happen on this side. Uh, we will break the wall up to here then, I suppose. And bring it out here, like so, making the wall a bit nicer like so and then we bring up oh, crap oh no that was all right so this wall is gonna go here and i just like the little bit of the idea of walking around it um as well as the backing wall over here having been the really the only wall and there will be uh water behind there there should be water coming off here i feel but maybe i am wrong Alright, so where do I want the redstone to go then? I assume that means we're going to have to have the redstone go beneath the system, which is honestly a plus. But I just realized, like, I'm like, there's no way I can get out of here just at the moment. Alright, so if we have the redstone go underneath, it will actually offer some nice things to us. Hmm. Another thing we could do is have the lever, like, in this space. I think I want the lever on the back here. Like, I think that would just look cool to have it uh, be like this, and then we'll break this, and there, and that's how I turn it on to killing mode. The only other issue with that is it's too far away. What's the... Yeah, all right, all right. Let's have it here. Let's have it somewhere here. Just got to think of somewhere here that's pretty cool to put it. I could maybe have it... I could have a, uh, a tripwire here so that whenever I'm in the tripwire re region, it does hold me. Uh, and the floor out. The only issue with that is, is that I, I want them to build up sometimes while I just want the option to turn it off. So I suppose a lever like that's going to be the, what we end up going with. Uh, just a bit disappointed to have it like that. Could put a lever up here. Seems like a cool idea and they're not going to spawn in there. All right, let's, uh, go with that option. Let's put that there and then we'll put that there. And then what we're going to do is put this here. I kind of like the, uh, oh, actually, do I want it there? Oh, that doesn't, that, I have to take that away because that's not going to be there as a wall. So that would go like that. And then that will go like that. And there's our little, our killing chamber. And that lever will do the redstone. So we need to get that all underway, which will be annoying. Um, so redstone's going to go straight off there and down think the best way to do this would be with a redstone torch. So the redstone torch goes there. The enderman can get caught. That goes there. Um, found an issue in it. I, I can't seem to... Eh! Alright, I found a bug! And I need to fix it! I can't get the lever! Who, who thought that was a good idea? That was just a horrible idea, Brendan. Yeah, alright, I'm not getting that button again. Let's go break the redstone. That, that's how I want it to work, guys. I'm going to have to break the redstone either way. Okay, guys, so I was going to do the whole floor out of slabs, but I realized I don't actually mine the cobblestone with these slabs, and I definitely have realized it's a, uh, a block palette that I like, the cobblestone and the smooth stone slabs. So I think I'm going to have it come out an extra bit more than the wall, but I think I will keep the cobblestone in the middle, which will look pretty good in my opinion so uh another thing i want to have yes i do have more chests so i want to double up the chest because i'm filling this storage quite quickly and there's our storage got our little walk away that goes around here got our piston and redstone that works correctly uh i like this room a lot it's basic it's got exactly what i want uh the only issue now is to do the water which basically means we need some building blocks, which we'll be using these and these. And then we need some buckets of water, which we have about 7 billion of over here. And then I just need to fill in the water up at the top, which... 
or not fill in the water, replace the water because I took it all away, obviously, which, oh, I also have to do it for the redstone. So let's go do that, which is, oh, no, no, that's the redstone one there. Is that one needed? That one is needed. All right. So that one goes there. And then all I have to do is place water around here, which is pretty interesting because I thought there was a few more things we had to do. So let's go here. There, uh, I need to put some there because you don't want to miss any blocks. Oh, that that worked wonderful. It actually grew a unlimited water source, which I didn't think would happen. Wonderful. I really hate putting water on Enderman. It really, really creeps me out. Uh, let's put that one in the corner. Wonderful. I I try to place this so there isn't oh, uh, isn't too many water sources because they can get annoying but then again doing it you know that's what you want you want like the water to get as much coverage as possible uh even getting rid of the water gets annoying because if water is coming down on an angle like this and one one water source is touching it it will hold it into position until you like edit it away with cutting water sources and blocks it was really it was really annoying to get the water to hold back here you'll see that it expands out and that's just a very annoying element of Minecraft in my opinion and I'm not a fan of it but you know you have to play how the games play so I think what I'm gonna do now is plop down onto the block break that one I was very confident there was a block there but I, I still played it safe by jumping across a bit uh, just in case oddly my pickaxe had uh, efficiency 10 million and four let's go do that let's throw these out uh, let's put these in our inventory and I don't need that much water on me actually all right now we go back up and fill the water in and now we have a perfectly working enderman farm that uh, also does the job in every other way like enchanting anvil repair storage you know we got everything covered and now we just need to do this central part and then we can do some enchantments because Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll just come in next episode with what enchantments I get, because enchantments are cool, but once I get to this point of being able to do them every episode, and lots of them every episode, it's not that interesting to watch, so I think every now and then I'll just do a ton of enchantments and show you guys what I got, because, you know, it's, it's not super important. Alright, there we go, let's swim down into here, and this should be working! So thank you all so much for watching this episode, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, feel free to leave a like and a comment, if you're new, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day! Bye guys! I hate the sound of Enderman so much.